Well, hello everybody, and this is Stan again from Masturbator Sport Fishing and Tackle uh, with your weekly fishing report. This week uh, we've seen some interesting things. Most things are moss and meadows, more or less the same. Corbettania right now, we got uh, black marlin have finally moved in. They're running anywhere from 350 to 500 pounds. Uh, there have been some reports of 600 pounds, but I haven't seen anything that really justifies that. We've got uh, blue marlin out there running about the same size as striped marlin have pulled out. Uh, not surprising, they've been here really late for the season, and when the water temperatures get around, you know, 84-ish, 80-ish, they, they bug out. They like water temperatures around 75, so they're they're going to spend the rest of the year up there in Cabo. We'll see them come back down around fall. Let's see, what else is out there? Yellowfin tuna, yellowfin tuna are running a little smaller, a lot of 40, 50, 60 pounders out there. Not seeing too many over 100 pounds, but it's always possible. Things change every day, so, you know, don't hold me uh, accountable for that one. Uh, Dorado are still out there. We got a lot of Dorado, different sizes, different ranges. Uh, yeah, you're probably not going to find a trash line out there in Corbettania, but you know you can find something out there. Anything from El Moro to, to Corbettania is sailfish, blue marlin, and uh, could be some more black marlin out there. But they're like I said, just moving in. Abaco, which is 50 miles out there from Marina Vallarta. Well, you know we're not getting too many reports out there, but with the water temperatures like they are and the bay conditions and Everything the way it is, it could be just on fire out there, but uh, no report, so can't tell you too much about that. Inside, a little closer in, Punta Mita, that area from Punta Mita out to uh, El Moro. We've been seeing a lot of Dorado out that way, it got a couple of mature trash lines out there, so we're seeing sailfish feeding off of those. The Dorado can be anything from smaller to larger, anything from 10 to 25, 35 pounds, so to find any debris in the water. Or like I said, the trash line, you know, you're lucky to be, you're liable to uh, have a really incredible day. Looking for rooster fish uh, around Asilidera, inside the bay there, around the sandy beaches, but mostly from Punta Mita to Sayulita. If you're out there uh, trolling a baby skipjack or a baby bonita, we call them bullets, you'll find uh, the opportunity for 25, maybe 35 pound rooster fish. I haven't seen roosters for a while, but we have a lot of sardines in the area, a lot of baits been moving in. So, you know, I mean, you got a shot for some rooster fish. We get some words inside the bay over there by um, Garza Blanca, Punta Negra, around the sandy beaches there. They've been seeing some 20, 25 pound rooster fish as well. If you're inside the bay, a good place to be is over there by Los Arcos. They're still seeing some sailfish over there. Yes, I know, they're in the bay. We got some sailfish over there. We, uh, we're still seeing some Jack Rebels around the river mouth and over there by La Cruz. We got sailfish over by La Cruz as well. Dorado inside the bay are small, a lot of small, small Dorado out there. If you catch a bunch, you know, throw them back. You know, maybe keep one for dinner. Like, like I had some clients the other day, they kept one for dinner, but they caught like 12 of them, they threw them all back. Especially the females, they're full of eggs, they're always full of eggs, always throw them back. What else we got? We got Benita, again, some reports, some 40 pound uh, tuna over there by Yalapa, but that's not like your regular fishing over there. You gotta make sure you're throwing a couple of baits in the water, sardines primarily. Let them swim around a little bit, throw a few more, you'll draw them back up. They'll come up and then you gotta, you know, kind of cast and hope they'll take your bait. But there's 40 pound Dorado over there, I'm sorry, 40 pound tuna. I don't think it'll be much bigger than that. And of course there's always uh, a host of other fish in the bay that you can catch, especially in that area over there. Water temperatures right now are 85 degrees. They haven't gone up, they haven't gone down. The water is super high visibility blue. Bay conditions are just off the chart. I mean, there's every kind of bait you can possibly imagine out there. Flying fish, blue runners, green runners, sardines, goggle eyes, uh, skipjack tuna. It's just, it's just everything you can possibly imagine out there. No problem making bait, although I always like to buy some in the morning anyway. We're seeing uh, everything just about the way it should be. The temperatures, uh, the water temperatures are right on time. The, the fish that are here are right on time. Uh, we'll start building now for the rest of the season. Come October, we start getting a lot of reservations, but frankly, you know, mid-August, uh, we start seeing bigger fish start moving in. We'll start seeing bigger marlin. In about another two weeks, we should be having marlin out there on average size of six to 800 pounds. So um, all in all, things are getting a little better. The bite is still happening midday. It's kind of strange. We've had a, a heck of a stretch here where water temperatures, uh, I should say the bite is coming in anywhere after nine o'clock. You know, you, so you're getting a late morning bite and you're getting a kind of an afternoon bite. So 9 o'clock to about 11 or 12, then you start to get around 3 o'clock. So 
you know, if you're if you if you're out there on an eight or ten hour day and you're leaving a little bit later, like eight o'clock, maybe seven thirty, you can you can wind up catching both bites and give yourself the best opportunity. Other than that, we've been doing pretty good. No real hurricanes, so the seas have been smooth. Uh, we haven't had a whole lot of rain, which you know for me that's kind of a bad thing because we like the rain here. But other than that. Uh, the pandemic thing is kind of calming down down here a little bit. We get more and more people every day. And, well, you know, right now, it's full speed ahead. And hopefully they don't close anything. They were making some noise, but uh, they changed the mind. And the hotels are open. The restaurants are open. Nightclubs are not open. But uh, a little bit of luck, that will happen in a couple of weeks. So, for right now, that's about what's going on. I hope you appreciate these more or less that are around. They're not real fancy. They're, it's not a high production kind of thing here. But uh, these days with a cell phone and a computer, you can pretty much own the world. I've been writing magazine articles now for Viarta Today. ViartaToday.com. You might want to check them out. They've got a lot of things going on. Uh, a lot of news and a lot of information that's worth paying attention to. And uh, I'm writing other columns as well, not just about fishing. So you're welcome to join us, and uh, don't forget to check the webpage out. I'm out there on Facebook, and I should be paying more attention to Instagram. I'll, I'll start putting these out there on Instagram as well. But for now, that's about it, and uh, if you all have any questions, feel free to call me. My email address and webpage is at the very end of the video. And, um, well, I guess that's about it for now, huh? So for now, this is Stan signing off, saying, you know, don't forget to kiss your fish, and we'll see you next week. Have fun. Oh, by the way, if you have any questions, feel free to call me. Remember, we won't jerk you around here at Masturbators.